The next stage is what we call the three-in-one technique stage, which involves plaiting each section of hair in one. You know, each section, uh, in other words, plaiting like three or more pieces of hair in one plait. It's very hard to explain, but I'll show you using this, uh, a demonstration. This is how the three-in-one technique hair piece looks like. And what we do here is we pick each section of hair which has already been braided in two, two plaits. It's been braided in two plaits with a thin edge piece of web. In this brandy collection, the next stage, what we do is we, we row each section of hair very thinly in a kind of slant. We row it in, you know, like this is land. Instead of this being a very thin piece of hair, we can make it a little bit bigger because now we're going to use it to plait five plaits rather than one. If you pick a piece of hair like this, you can knot it together. So I'm showing here. Already, what we have here is four plaits. They've already been, been plaited, and we're going to plait it into that slant that I've made. I'll just pick a piece of hair of our hair and plait the three in one into our hair in tiny combs. That's what I've done here. Tiny combs, tiny combs as we go along. And then I'll finish off the plait. I've added five plaits now instead of um, just doing each individual hair single. should be finished to the end. You pick another slant of hair from the second row and take a piece of the three in one. Take another piece of the three in one. If you want to add extra pieces, you can add extra pieces. You knot it if you want to. I can plait it without knotting it actually. Plait it in again. When we finish this section of hair, you will see that instead of spending time doing each individual hair singly, I've only done like 10 plaits in two plaits. That is what, why we call it the 3 in 1 technique plus. You can achieve 3, 5, 7, 9 plaits in one go, however you like. So you finish this. So all these individual slants are all braided with this three in one as we go along. All of them are all individual, are all plaited. I am now finishing the second row with the three in one technique as I showed earlier. As you can see, we've achieved more plaits in a few minutes that would have normally taken us hours to do. And that's how the hair looks. Even from, from the front, you can see that the hair has already been covered. This is just two rows that has been done. And that's how it looks. Now, the next stage is to do the side rows of the hair and the back rows. And starting from the edge of the back, we pick a segment of hair from the back and using the same system as the front, but this time we're not cutting the hair in slants. 
So we're just picking a little section of hair and we now attach these loose three in one plaits or more into each of the hair section. You attach it like this. The more you plait, the more you get very quick with it. So you don't have to plait as fast as I am. And then you take another little piece of hair, making sure that they all lie straight. It has to be close enough so that when you pull the hair together like this, it covers the edge of the hair. So you take another section of the three in one, and I've taken two actual two three ones and knotted them together and attach into the hair. And this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna continue and walk our way up to the edge of the hairline, all around the edge of the hairline. The hair has all been put in at the back, and that's how it looks when you pull it all up. Look at this. Come on. As well. It's already been covered. That's the finished work of the three in one technique stage. 